Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. Well, you know what's not doing great? A retailer that just claimed bankruptcy. And we're gonna see these bankruptcies explode at the end of this year and into 2024. It's a sector that we talked about, but it's a surprise one. So let me read you this story. It's out of the street. Essential retailer files surprise chapter 11 bankruptcy. A huge name, which a jingle, you all probably know, has filed an unexpected chapter 11 bankruptcy and warns it may close type one if you've heard this uh, company before it says here sometimes disruptive players change the status quo but in some cases they prove why the status quo existed in the first place digital first companies have struggled in areas of business where it makes sense to actually interact with customers some have failed while others have adjusted their operating model Furniture stores, for example, ex exist because people don't like to spend thousands of dollars on a bed or sofa without actually sitting on it or lying on it. Yes, the, act, the internet makes buying things easy, more efficient, and cuts down all in overhead, but it, that does not make up for the lack of being able to touch certain products or see them in person. You know, type two, if you understand, I know the type one is waiting. You haven't heard the company yet, but type two, if you feel the exact same way, there's something so neat about being able to go into a store, talk to the salespeople, that aren't harassing you like crazy, but being able to go in there and actually sit on the couch and feel what it feels like. You can't get that kind of information from a picture or a review. You can't even get that kind of sensation or the, the ability to see if this is something you want to buy or not from a video. All right. It says that's why we've seen popular direct-to-consumer brands like Warby Parker and Third Love expand their brick-and-mortar presence. It's not a great experience to buy a glass uh, to buy glasses and lingerie without touching them and realistically both need to be tried on. All right, well, I'm not gonna be going to the latter of those stores. The idea of shaking up brick and mortar chains with online models seems to be great until you have to return a lumpy bed or lumpy due to ill-fitting clothes. <laughs> I know what that means. Hey, you know what? I mean, I know how that feels. Point being is how many people have been to Costco and looked at the line of returns and like, you're gonna turn that in? How long that bed? How long have you been sleeping on that thing? I know a guy. I know a guy that does that. It's not me. It seems that the same might be true of dentistry as, type one if you heard of this one, Smile Direct Club, a popular alternative to braces has filed for bankruptcy. Now remember, as they file for bankruptcy, the next thing that it usually leads to is a restructuring, which means layoffs, all right? Smile Direct Club just filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy. Uh, one of the better known DTC companies, Smile Direct Club, spent millions educating consumers on its products and it advertises a lot and has a very catchy jingle that raised awareness on the tooth aligners that serve as an alternative to traditional braces. I'm trying to think of the, gosh darn, I, I, Smile Direct Club. I don't know what the jingle is. Do you guys know? Type five if you ever heard of the Smile Direct Club's jingle. And then type six says you're pissed at me because you can't get it out of your head. <laughs> Good news, I, I, I don't have it in my head. That's, there's actually not a lot in here right now. Now, the company has filed for chapter 11 reorganization, but it enters the proceedings with a plan to emerge from it. Isn't that sweet? We're gonna sell, get this, just creditors. We don't wanna pay you all the money we owe you. And yeah, we're gonna have to lay some people off. Uh, yeah, the CEO is gonna keep, keep making what he makes. That's just how it works. <laughs> sucks. Smile Direct Club uh, will seek to recapitalize through a transaction where the company's founders have committed to invest at least $20 million to bolster the company's balance sheet and to protect its near and long-term financial health, the company shared in a press release. The company will have access to up to uh, $60 million in additional funds if certain conditions are met, including the favorable conclusion of a marketing process. I want you to understand something right now. There is one reason and one reason only. Smile Direct Club, no, no, there's probably lots of reasons where the CEO did stupid things and, and they should have saw this ahead of time. But I'm going to tell you why the ninja is telling you why this company is going bad. When inflation starts exploding like it has been the last year and a half, two years, people don't have the money for braces. They don't have the money for the Invisaligns, the little cap things. They don't do anything like that. You're going to see elective surgeries, cosmetic stuff fall off of a cliff. This is nutty. It's going to be bad. Smile Direct Club's uh, filing was voluntary. Go figure. <laughs> and, gosh dang, Captain Obvious here. And was designed to clear the decks for the cash infusion. Of course, yeah. After, you know, we all tell the creditors we can't pay, we're going to invest our own money and make this thing sweet because we have less debt. 
blows me away. Both the U.S. Bankruptcy Court and for the Southern District of Texas and the company's creditors will have to sign off on the deal. Point being is this, it's bad and it's getting worse. And you're gonna see more bankruptcies and they're gonna have to restructure and they're going to lay people off. Why? Because Jerome Powell said, I need to lay more people off. I need to break the consumers back. You're gonna feel pain. I mean, how many times we gotta preach this? It's gonna get crazy, but I want you not scared. I want you prepared and I want you eating a bunch of popcorn, but don't eat so much because then you might need an Invisalign if you get one of those things stuck in your tooth. Point being is this, we're gonna crush it next year. All I see is green, baby. With that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.